<laughs> okay, let's get serious now. Today I'm gonna be using my trusty Rhino ramps to get the front end up in the air. Now, like most newer cars, there's always a cover underneath that you gotta remove so that you can access the oil filter and drain plug. This one right here has four aluminum screws that you gotta remove so you can take off the cover. And with the cover off, now we can get our catch pen ready. Nice. Now this being a Honda slash Acura vehicle, you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench or socket to remove the drain plug. But you already knew that, right? So just crack it loose and let it drain. Now this may take a couple seconds, so just let it take care of itself. And while that's happening, that gives you time to go crack a cold one and take a little break. So cheers to that. Now once it's done draining, we pop our oil drain plug back. If you have a new washer, go ahead and replace it and tighten up the drain plug. Now the pan is aluminum, so you don't want to over tighten the drain plug. Just a little, uh, like Scotty Kilmer says. Okay, to remove the drain plug, I'm using my Motivex claw tool. Swipe left, click on the link if you want to check these tools out. Just pop it on the filter, turn it counterclockwise, and that filter comes right off. Now finish removing the oil filter and just let it drain. And make sure everything is nice and clean for a leak-free installation of the new filter. And if you got some on the subframe, go ahead and clean it up. Now we take our new filter, remove this little plastic chingadera, and add some oil so that it doesn't go in dry. Now more than anything, this is just peace of mind. And don't forget to lube up your rubber. This is going to make it easier for the next person to remove the oil filter. And the gasket won't stick on the oil filter housing. Nice, now we can put this back. Spin the filter until the gasket touches the housing and give it a quarter turn to a half a turn. Do not over tighten the filter. Reinstall this aluminum cover and that's it for under the car. Now make sure everything is nice and clean down there. <laughs> and you already know, I'm going to be using my Motivex funnels to fill her up. This funnel just screws in place of the cap, makes it easier to fill without making a mess. Now this engine has 20,000 miles, it calls for 020, so 020 is what we're going to put in there. Make sure you use the right viscosity, especially with this engine because it has a turbo. Lack of lubrication to the turbo is the number one reason that turbos go out. Now that we have oil in there, we can unscrew the funnel and check that out, no mess. Reinstall the cap and that's it for this Acura oil change. And again, don't forget, if you want to see the tools that I used, swipe left, click on the Amazon link and it'll take you straight there. Now the last thing to do is check your oil level and if you have a maintenance light, go ahead and reset it. And I'll see you in 5.0.